Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. I am sweating. I'm going to do a video on it just in a hot minute. But I wanted to introduce you guys to my new flat. That is why I have a new setup. This is probably going to change. I just set it up really quickly because I really wanted to film this video for you guys. But I have a bunch of new videos coming on this channel. I have cooking videos. I have more creative content. Let me know down below what you want to see from me. I might even do... Let me know down below if you want to see my makeup collection and my new dress. Let me know because I know I've given you guys a sneak peek on my Instagram. And I think you guys want to see how I organise my makeup. Right now it's not organised at all. But I'd love to share that with you guys. So let me know down below. Anyways, for this video I am obviously bare faced because I am going to do a video... In this heat, I am sweating. I thought it'd be a really good video to do to show you guys how I keep my makeup from melting off. Particularly, I sweat around my nose area and just on top of my mouth, on top of my mouth? Yeah, here on my moustache area and around my chin just seems to come off, I'm sweating. I can't stop you guys from sweating, I can't stop my, myself from sweating. I think that's unhealthy. But I can show you tips and tricks that I do to stop my makeup from coming off and if it is going to come off like the easiest way without it kind of taking everything off i want to do a video on that for you guys so if you want to see how i stop my makeup from melting off and then just keep on watching okay so the first thing that i want to stress to you guys and it's really really important is that to prime i don't actually like to prime you guys know that i don't like to prime but in this heat when we're sweating it is important to prime because it does help that little bit and we want to make little little changes in our makeup routine to help our makeup from not melting off so i'm gonna actually gonna be using the i'm actually gonna be using the bobby brand skin smoothing pore perfecta this is just kind of like your basic primer i personally don't like silicon based primers i don't like how they work with my water based products that i like to put on top so I'm going to be using this primer, I'm going to take a couple of drops of this and then just massage this all over the face and really let it sink in to the skin. Now I'm going to move on to foundation. I would say foundation is a very personal choice dependent on what you want to do with your skin. Personally for me when it's hot I don't like to wear a thick foundation. I don't really like to wear a thick foundation in general but especially when it's hot I don't like to wear anything too thick all over my face but that is obviously dependent on what you like. If you want to go for a thicker foundation I would recommend to go for something that is waterproof and long wearing because that is going to help you you don't want to go for anything too emollient based i'm actually going to go for the charlotte tilbury light wonder this is in the shade nine dark and the reason why i'm going for this is it's very similar to my face and body but it's just kind of like a tinted foundation tinted moisturizer sort of thing so it's very very lightweight on the skin and so i'm going to pop this all over the skin just to give me a really nice blank canvas now that i have a light layer of that foundation on you can barely see it what i'm going to do is you want to target areas that you tend to crease that you tend to sweat and what i'm going to use for this is going to be the estee lauder double wear maximum cover foundation i'm in the shade 4n2 spiced sand and the reason why I'm using this is because I don't know a product like this, but this product is literally like cement. It does not come off, it doesn't crease, it doesn't move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of this with a beauty blender just underneath my eyes because I like to conceal with this before I highlight because it doesn't crease. And then I'm going to pop a little bit around my mouth area just above my top lip and then just around my chin area and on my nose slightly as well. This product is very, very thick, so you only want to use a little bit. But it's going to kind of just stick to the areas where you are going to produce quite a bit of a sweat. Now you do just want to be careful with the amount of product that you put on after Estee Lauder Double Wear because it's super thick. Like super, super thick. And I don't want my makeup to look cakey. And when I sweat, it's not going to look good. So you just want to really blend that in. Get it into your skin. Okay, so once our base is on, I'm gonna go in with a highlight shade that I like to do just to add a little bit of definition to my face. I'm actually gonna be using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. This is in the shade M25 Warm. It's got a really nice yellow undertone to it. So I'm gonna pop this in all the usual places that I would highlight. Again, when using a concealer, it doesn't have to specifically be this one, but you wanna go for something that is waterproof or long wearing. Something like even the Urban Decay Concealer is a good one, but just something that is a little bit more dry than it is emollient is going to stick better on the skin so i'm going to pop this on the usual places that i would highlight and then blend that out using a damp beauty blender so i feel like most products for this look i'm going to be quite matte they're not very dewy or oily because i feel like them products tend to slip off a little bit 
quicker especially when you're sweating so you might find that this is going to be a generally kind of a matte look until we add a highlighter now let me fill my brows in real quick because we are not doing any cream contouring or bronzing today we're going to do that all with powder so let me just fill in my brows real quick i'm going to be using the anastasia dip brow pomade in dot brown as per usual just to fill in my brows just to fill in all the sparse gaps Okay, so my brows are on. Now, quick tip for you guys that, that may sweat from the forehead area. Sometimes the sweat tends to come down and it can disrupt the eyebrows, especially when the eyebrows are looking pretty flicky. You want them to stay on. What I thought was you could actually use a brow tint. Maybelline do one. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Long. I think it's a long lasting tint. I use the shade dark brown and I tend to do this when I'm going without any makeup for a while so say i'm going on holiday i'd like to tint my eyebrows because i don't want to be doing my brows sometimes like this my brows are going to look harsh but with a tint they look very natural but they give the appearance of full brows now to set my brows in place i'm going to be using the mac brow set this is just a clear brow set it's waterproof so it's just going to ensure that they really really stay on my face i'm just going to brush this brow set all the way through my brow hairs now if you guys have used the estee lauder maximum cover before you know that it kind of sets and once it's on, it's on. It's not going anywhere. So you don't need to set it with a powder, I don't personally feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start bronzing my skin to give it a little bit of depth, a little bit of bronze, because I want to look a little bit sun-kissed as per usual. I'm going to be using the MAX Studio Water Weight Powder in the shade of Dark. I like to mix both of these. I just like the colour that it gives me. It's very similar to that Give Me Sun colour, I suppose. But it's very lightweight and very soft on the skin. So I'm just going to pop this in all the usual places that I would bronze, just to give me a little bit of warmth to my skin. Okay, now that I'm bronzed, something that I have learnt is I actually would love to bronze just the sides of my nose area, just to tie the whole look in together. But what I've noticed is because I sweat a lot on my nose and my upper lip area, if I put powder there, when I sweat, because it's inevitable, I will sweat, sometimes it can go a little bit wrong it can congeal the makeup with the powder it just doesn't look as nice so i just avoid putting any powder in that area i also avoid putting powder underneath my eyes because i'm using foundations that are going to really really set and adhere to the skin so i put powder where i'm not really going to sweat too much just so i don't have to kind of deal with the sweat mixing with the powder. Now using that same Locket concealer that I used to highlight with, I'm just gonna clean up underneath my brows and prime my lids and then I'm just gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend that in place, just to prime my lids, give my lids a little bit of a blank canvas before we start any sort of eyeshadow. Now that my concealer's on, I'm just going to quickly go into a little bit of loose powder and just set my eyelids. Once you look a little bit crazy and you've let it set for a couple of seconds, I'm just going to go ahead and brush that away. Okay, so this look is very much not about the eyes. I will have more eye makeup coming shortly, but this is more about the base. So I'm going to do a very simple Nikki eye. I'm going to go into the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and I'm going to take the shade are you kidding me as my transition? I just want to use two shades, keep it really simple. And I'm going to pop this in to my crease area using a fluffy brush, just blending out and upwards. Once my transition color is on, very simple, I'm going to take the same color and I'm going to pop it on my lower lash line as well. Now that my transition color is on, I'm going to go in with a flat brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Fix Plus, just spritz that brush a little bit because I'm going to go in with a lid colour. Now, my lid colour is going to be the Violet Voss Cool Beans. I'm going to pop a little bit of this pigment just all over the lid. And that is it. Just a really, really simple, smoky brown eye. Now, I'm feeling super, super matte. And before I go on to finish the eyes with lashes, I want to go in with a little bit of highlighter to bring this look to life. My favourite, favourite quad right now is Revolution. This is the Ignite Highlighter Quad. I just love the tones in it like I just I can't get enough of it and I actually like to mix all of the colors together and then I just add a little bit more of that goldish color on top depending on how bronzy I want the look to look so I'm gonna go in with my MAC 240 brush and I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight to the high points of my face which is gonna be the tops of my cheekbones and then I'm gonna do a little bit just on my cupid's bow avoiding my nose area just because I do sweat there and I'll pop the tiniest amount on my brow bone as well now as the sun's out today I always like to add a little bit of blush I feel like it gives you more of a youthful look so today I wanted to give something that is a bit pinky a bit corally kind of to match with my top I'm gonna go in with this Mariah Carey times MAC collection this is the Christmas collection. 
I think a few years old now, but it doesn't have to be this blush. It's a powder blush in Sweet Sweet Fantasy. And I'm going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks just to give me a little bit of colour to this look. Now let's move back to the eyes. I'm going to pop on a little bit of mascara really quickly. This is just the Deck of Scarlet mascara. I love this mascara actually. It just really separates my lashes and length of them. So I'm just going to chuck a little bit of this bad boy on. So you don't by any means need to wear lashes, but I love to wear lashes so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be wearing the cashmere lashes in the style dark side love them worn them to death i kind of need a new pair they were kind enough to send me these actually and i need some more but you don't have to wear lashes if you want to wear mascara i would probably opt in this heat if you feel like your mascara maybe runs a little bit go for a waterproof or a long wearing mascara something that you need an oil cleanser to really really remove something that is quite tough but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly chuck these bad boys on. Okay, now that my lashes are on, I'm just going to quickly chuck a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes as well. Okay, so for lips, I feel like this would be a very personal one, whether you like matte lips, whether you like gloss lips, whatever kind of colours you like as well would be dependent. What I would say is what's going to be long wearing, your lips don't sweat, but what's going to be long wearing is more of a stain. The one stain that I do have by MAC, it's a coral colour and it won't go with this look. It's not the colour that I'm going for. So I'm just going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in San Diego. Pop a little bit of this and then I like to just kind of blend it out using my finger because I want it to be more of a lightweight colour as opposed to a full on bright colour. Now that the makeup is finished to seal the deal, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm sure you guys have heard of this, but this looks in your makeup and it doesn't go anywhere. This is a game changer. Without this, I wouldn't be able to make this video. It wouldn't make sense. So I'm just going to give myself a couple of spritz of this all over my face. I mean, can we just take a quick second for the kitchen right here? I'm going to be doing cooking videos. I'm so excited to be doing cooking videos. I know this is really random, but I just want to show you guys my kitchen because it's my new kitchen. It's beautiful. And I'm going to be doing some cooking for you too. Let me know down below if you want to see that as well. Love you. And that is it guys for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new. If you do try out any of the techniques or any of the products, then do let me know how they work out for you because I would like to know. I'm not saying that this would work out for every single person, but for me, it really does. It's a little bit more matte for my liking, but it works. And I feel like if you're going to take anything away from this video, then just make sure that you don't use emollient products. Try not to use anything cream-based, anything creamy, anything oily, because that will slide off with the sweat especially. So try and get something that is more matte, long-wearing and waterproof. And they most definitely don't need to be these products in particular, but just stick to them types of products. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I think I've just said that. And I will see you in my next video. I love you guys so very much. Mwah.